I mean, jelly beans. I like a certain brand. Over the years, I think I may have showed y'all, but I like these Gimbals. Gourmet jelly beans. They're pretty equivalent to a um, Jelly Belly. I also like Belly Flops. Made by Jelly Belly. Jelly beans. Yeah, Jelly Belly beans. Anyway, so today I'm playing in my jewelry, and that's all I'm doing. And I thought, you know, I have a whole bunch of beautiful rhinestone stuff I haven't showed y'all. Hey, Darlene B, how are you doing? You've been birthing some more babies in those uh, in those little goats. Hey, NNC, welcome to my new sub. You've got your mask on. Good deal. We won't breathe on you or cough on you. So, anyway, welcome to my channel. Today, normally, I do, uh, I just share some of my hoarding <laughs> problems. I hoard real bad. Hey, Kathy Cunningham, how are you? I hoard jewelry real bad. I tend to hoard rhinestones and vintage pieces very, very badly. And, um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, I'm I'm going through this little box. Oh, there's some nice little. Yeah, there's some nice little AB rhinestones. Anyway, uh, to uh, show y'all some things that oh that needs to go in a craft lot. I have a craft lot started, so you do too. You hoard things too. So um, this little bucket is full of little rhinestone pieces that I've hoarded, just individual rhinestones to fix things, and I need to fix some things, so I have this beautiful brooch here, uh, it is signed, let's see where my little eyeball went, it is signed listener, and it is missing one of, right there, it's missing a, a navy blue rhinestone, you can see that real pretty, it's really, really pretty, I need to fix it. Just got to find one of those deep rhinestones. Anyway, and I have this really pretty little brooch. That is just like a little mother's brooch. And it's missing a rhinestone right there that needs one. That one's really easy. So, anyway. Most of the rest of that is just all. And now there's no, that's just a plastic brooch. And I love plastic stuff. I love... Um, I don't like plastic bangles, but I love these. These are from West Germany. Usually you find them from West Germany. And uh, I have a whole set of them somewhere. So now here, this is the goody goody bucket we're fixing to get into. That one was just a. So I have this brooch right here. It is not signed, but I do not care that it's not signed. And uh, I will not sell this brooch, <laughs> but oh my gosh. Can y'all see that? got these little milky yellow there's one missing there let's see and that's the only nope there's one missing over here too there's two of those big ones missing and uh yeah trying to find that milky yellowy ab hey perlini how are you lynn is really hard but there is no way that I could throw this away or even take it apart to craft with it because it is so stinking pretty. Isn't that just a gorgeous brooch? I love it. I wish it wasn't missing those two stones. Wish Mary Pelletier was here, but I know that she's two hours behind me, so she may be working or something. But Mary repairs things. I wish I knew if she could find me some stones like that. So... Anyway, now, not all of this is repair. Some of this is some stuff I'm just hoarding for right now. This is a Sarah Coventry set. And um, the earrings are really nice. The, um, the stones on the brooch almost look like somebody poured glue over them. And they just don't sparkle as well as the earrings. But this is a Sarah Coventry, Sarah Coventry set. You can see that. Is there? No. 
when I held it up, it looked like there was one missing, but there's no stones missing. Anyway, I bought this on eBay, and I only gave like $7 for the set. And, um, yeah. Even though the stones don't sparkle as good as the earrings do, it's still just a gorgeous set. And it is by Sarah Coventry. So. Now this little. This little thing here. Is did. Uh, I love the colors in it too. This little thing here is Mark Japan. And it was sold to me as a Bakelite brooch. But I don't believe it's Bakelite. And we've talked about this I think before. I do believe it's celluloid, but I don't think it's Bakelite. I can see all the way through it. Well, I can see through it with the light. I can nearly see through it. And uh, it didn't test as Bakelite, but it has a, it also has a coating on it. But it was included in a, in a lot that was, and it was marked Bakelite, but I don't believe it is. And it's got a crack in it, so. But I need to put it in with my Bakelite stuff just so that I can keep it in with some plastic stuff. Okay, this bag of stuff is some things that are some more repair things. So we've got these beautiful earrings here with this big blue stone. We've got these with the baguette stones. So that, that's pretty. These are right here are real pretty. The stones on them are real pretty. But this is a cheap, cheap thing. The stones on them are gorgeous. But the back of it, it's all glued. It's like it's like somebody took the stones in the pieces and laid it all down and then glued it and then glued it onto a pair of earring backs. I have both of them. Uh, we're missing one big purple stone. One big purple stone. But. I can't, I mean, seriously, could you throw those away or break them up for crafting? I can't, I can't, and and I'm getting real better at being real ruthless. Look at these, isn't that pretty? Can you see that green? Oh my gosh, hey Anamora, how are you? Look at that, isn't that just gorgeous? They're, they're green, but they have an AB coating on them that makes that blue pop out. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if there's two of them or not. There are two of them, and we're missing a stone. Yep, that's why they're in there. Look. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, my gosh. They're so pretty. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So... I might have been somewhere this morning. Here is another beautiful earring, pair of earrings that are missing stones. So you can see that the AB, it's an amber colored AB stone missing here in the middle. And then it's got little stones, a few little stones around it that's missing. But isn't that pretty? Oh no, it won't let you click on anybody's channel. So, uh, just a nice vintage rhinestone. You can tell they're a little bit older. This one is really pretty. I don't know why it's in a bag that has a Barbie. It's in a bag that has one of Barbies. You know how when you get a bag from Barbie, it's got a, it's got the her prices on it. Hey, Miss uh, Angela Irene, I'm showing rhinestone stuff. This is stuff out of my hidey hole that needs repaired, that I can't throw away, that I can't give away <laughs> because I can't. Hey, Bob, welcome, Glam Kitty. Anyway, <laughs> so these here are, let's see, if, come on, focus, focus. There you go. Okay, they have a baguette on the inside and they have rhinestones on the outside but the thing that was weird about these was what looked like to be either gray rhinestones mixed with white rhinestones or they have white rhinestones that have turned dark so they are screw back so 
who knows and these are cute and we're not missing anything on them wonder why they're in there uh, they are Koro. That's why they're in there. <laughs> they are Koro. Yeah. No, most of this stuff is going to be all vintage. This is my, this is my stuff that I, you know. Hey, Susan Gill. How are you today, hon? Are you feeling better? Sandy Brown. Hi. We're not selling anything today. We're just showing some of my stuff. We may even, we may, hey, Jude. We may even pull down. There's nothing wrong with these. These are just signed Coro. And y'all know. Sometimes I hoard Coro. And there's the other one like that. So. That was a few of the beautiful rhinestones. That are missing some stones. But they're too pretty. And they're, I like them too much to share. <laughs> I'm just. Just uh, real honest. No, you're not feeling better. I'm sorry, hon. I hope that you can get in and get your procedure done. This is a very old Coro piece, and um, it is missing a bunch of enamel on it, but still, you know. Hmm. My belly's making noises. I haven't ate anything but jelly beans today. <laughs> I'm so healthy. I'm a horrible, bad example, but you can see it's really pretty, but it's, I mean, it's in rough, rough shape, so, <laughs> rough, rough shape. Let's get down to some more really sparkly stuff. Here we go. We have this one, and it is missing some little... Older yellowy kind of kind of yellowy rhinestones. And uh, I was trying to see if it's signed. I don't think it's signed. There. There you go. You can see up here in the corner where that black hole is. That's where a rhinestone should be. But they're kind of yellowed, and I think they're yellowed with age, and so, you know, sometimes it's hard to find some of those, so. Here we go. I know I've showed this to y'all, I think. So, this is a little bird with a Rivoli belly. Look at the colors in that. Isn't that beautiful? I love this little bird. He's not signed nothing, but he sparkles so pretty. I do. I love that one. And this right here, I believe. Okay, I've got two different earrings here. Let's see if I keep pulling. I think this is really pretty. It's not signed. And I can't remember. I thought it was real pretty with these little blue. Mm, there you go. They're just little blue. Stones. There you go. Almost like. um. They almost look like. Maybe. I don't know. They remind me kind of moonstone but I'm not sure now these here are there's nothing spectacular about them except let's see okay I'm going to show these to y'all and I want y'all to guess why I saved these okay why why are these in my why are they in my hidey ho? Let's see if they'll focus. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. Can you see it? Right in there. Can you see it? Anybody going to guess why those are in my hidey ho?
They have rhinestones, but the rhinestones are, have nothing to do with why they're in the hidey ho. Aha. There's one of them. And these are signed. No, nope, they're not stars. I'll tell you who made them, and then that'll give you a clue. It's kind of hard to see. They're made by Whiting Davis. There you go. One more time. Yes, they have mesh. Like my purse meshes from my Whiting Davis purses. They have mesh. Yep. Yep, they have mesh. They're made by Whiting Davis. Okay, these are not signed, but oh my. And they're not in really good shape, but still, oh my. <laughs> so, looky there. Look at that big AB stone right in the middle. Oh, that makes me sing. That makes my heart sing. Now, if you notice, they have there's a lot of metal loss on the on the petals on those. It breaks my heart. I need to they need dipped again. But still. Whew, they're beautiful. Okay, now I also do love uh micro mosaics. This is a real micro mosaic. Little bitty tiles. Little, little bitty 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 tiles made into a brooch. It's not, uh, it's not signed anything. This is a piece that's made to look like a micro mosaic. It's made to look like a mosaic, but it is not. It is, it almost feels like, just like a piece of plastic in there. And I guess because I thought it looked like one is why it's in there. So then you have just these. These are just little green rhinestones. And those were probably kept for the fact that they're just little green rhinestones. And I might need them to fix something. Then those need to go up yonder. But those are thermoset. And most of this box here is all thermoset. Uh, is that one Russian? This little one? No. The little one's not Russian. No. And the big one is not marked anything. And I have several more micro mosaics. But I think they're in my room. Now look at this. So... At first glance, there looks like there's nothing missing here. And there may not be. I just don't know where it came from. I mean, I don't know. It is signed. Florenza. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? But I'm not sure if a navette sits on these little things here. Do you think? What do y'all think? Do you think a navette's supposed to sit on that? When you look at it close, it almost looks like it, but then it don't. I don't know. Isn't it pretty? Hey, Josie, we're just showing some of my rhinestone stuff. This, some of this is stuff that needs repairs, but I don't have the things to repair it, but I also don't want to get rid of it because the rhinestones are beauty, beautiful. So, oh, my hair is cute. I just have it pulled up in a barrette back here. So, anyway, what do y'all think? Do you think there's supposed to be navettes, flat navettes on that? I love rhinestone, see. Do you think, or do you think it's supposed to look like this? Just cannot tell. Mm. A little blue. A little blue rhinestone key. This one here is a bracelet. And it is 
not signed. And it's not missing anything. So it just has that big AB stone with the, the little faux pearls around it. It's really pretty. Hmm. It's not big enough to fit on my big fat wrist, but it could be extended easily. I, I have a beautiful one here in front of me that I'm waiting to see if I find the match to it. Aha! Uh -huh. There's the other other thermoset. Now, let's see. Do I have one of these? Only have one of these, okay? Only have one of these. <laughs> and it obviously was a brooch and the part broke off the back. But look at that. Can you not? I mean, like seriously. Hey, Peyton. Hey, sweetie. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm just sharing rhinestones. Yeah, you think it's complete? Thank you, Susan. For answering my question. Look at that. Can you. How absolutely. So you have an, a big AB stone. In a flower. They're flower petals. Then you have little ABs. And then these deep deep purples. And this was a brooch. Or an earring or something. And the back is broke off. It's all riveted. Isn't that. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then I have these. And I think they're so pretty. And I have a pair of them. But I don't know what they were. Because I don't see where anything broke off the back of them. Okay. I'm showing you the back first. I don't see where anything broke off the back. For them to be anything. But this is what they look like on the front. Look at that. Ugh. Aren't those just to die for? They're so pretty. Well, I've been missing you. And then I have this beautiful little red set. And here is the brooch. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There's the brooch. And here is a matching earring. Now, here is <laughs> here is where I'm going to tell on myself, okay? So, I had both earrings. When I got this set, I had earrings. But, I have lost one of the earrings and I cannot find it. So, I just keep looking for it. Over and over, I keep looking. <laughs> Every week, I look. Every time I go through. Oh, this is another set that I bought on eBay. And this is another Sarah Coventry set. And uh, here's the pen. And it's so pretty. And that fuzzy you see in that is a, um, it's laying in on a cushion thing. But somebody has, I don't know if they spill acid on the back or what they did. Hey, Moonstone Mama, Navette. She wants to know what a Navette is. Let me see if I can find. Aha. Uh -huh. See this brooch here? You see this this shape right here? This uh, These long, the, let's see, this right here. See that? That rounded diamond shape. This, uh, those are called navettes. The shape of them are called navette. And look at this. While, while I've got it up here, look at this. It is so gorgeous, but it is missing so many rhinestones. The ones that have pointed ends on both ends are navettes. These that have, um, like this, are more like teardrop. Yeah, navette, eye-shaped. So, this one is another one that 
it just can't go because and let me show you the earrings that go with that one brooch i was showing you where it looked like somebody poured an acid or something on the back of it and it's Cov. and i may have paid up a little bit on it and here's the matching earrings that go with it i'm thinking i paid like 14.99 for the set which paying that's not bad yep that's not a bad price for it, but if I want to resell it, it's not a good price, <laughs> you know. So, uh, let's see. I'm looking for. I've showed y'all this. I have this little sweet. Uh, it's the courting couple. Y'all have seen the courting couple. So, the rest of this is not. Oh, here. This here is a a set, and it has, uh, it is signed, Coro, I should have known, Coro, and it is brown, and it has a deep brown rhinestone in it. The rhinestone is not pretty, but the brooch is really pretty with the brown enamel, and Hey Miss Dawn, your mom had that Sarah Coventry set. The people of a cat's eyes called a nevet. And then it has matching earrings. And the earrings are actually prettier. The stone in the earrings are prettier. So, anyway, I did not find, and that doesn't mean that I don't have it. It could just be stuck somewhere in another drawer because I have a lot of things in drawers I'm looking to make sure it's not what's this one is it a flower no, no that's not that's not it that's not it okay it could be stuck in the box but here is another oh duh I thought I was looking for another earring this is actually a brooch so and it is kind of a, as you can see, when you turn it, you can see some amber color to it. It's AB. If you don't know this, I love AB stones. Love, love, love them. They might be one of my kryptonites. <laughs> anyway, hello, son. I'm live. Do you want to come say hi to all my friends? Not particularly. He is so rude. <laughs> That's what you get when you have a 26-year-old son. Well, he's 25. He'll be 26 in just a few weeks. Anyway, so, okay, I'm putting all these up. I'm going to save that up. Save that out. I'm going to put all these up, and then I'm going to pull out... Um, I'm going to pull down my jewelry box. And hopefully we can do that without breaking it. Okay. We'll go ahead and take this down too. Oh. Duh. Okay. I really need to get some real nice boxes and lay some of this stuff in. Because. Let me just. Let me grab something that I just put back in this drawer back here. Okay. Where did it go? Not it. That's not it. That's not it. I just picked it up and laid it in here. I'm not losing my mind. I'm not losing my mind. I'm sorry. Okay. Picked it up and laid it in there. Okay, I'm not going to dig for it, but I will show you because it was the last thing I showed y'all while ago. So, this. Okay, you know the little brooch I showed y'all with the big hidey ho? <laughs> with the big. Uh, um, with the big. A, B, and I told you when you turn it this way, you can see amber, you can see 
Okay, that is a set. <laughs> and the brooch goes with these earrings. And then I have this bracelet that I don't think the bracelet technically goes with them, but the colors were right. And there are missing no stones on this. So we're, I'm showing y'all the tree from the back that always sits up behind me. Now, all of this is all vintage. And y'all know this is some of my hoard. So let's see. I just knocked off something. And that one fastens on, don't it? There we go. Did you get warmly? Dave went for a walk. He broke a toe earlier in the week and so he didn't walk yesterday, but this day he put on big shoes, bigger shoes and went and walked. So we have this and it has and it has a matching brace necklace and it is coro. Yeah, it is coro. And there's the bracelet. Now, I do not believe actually I don't believe that they go together. This one is coro. This one I think just is a vintage it may even be a repot to tell you the truth because it's not signed and uh it is uh it's just in really uh really good condition um let's see let's bring the tree over here so um have this now this is missing some rhinestones again we're looking i think at a coro piece yes maybe let's see what it says no this is a larue piece l-e-r-u larue oops that won't work for him to sit over here it's got to come back over here i'm knocking things off this is a LaRue piece. This is missing some stones. These remind you of your grandma. <laughs> Dawn's, she's like, sell it, sell it, sell it to us. <laughs> yeah. Not happening, Dawn. Not happening. Even if I have to eat beans and taters for a week, it's not happening. <laughs> or longer. <laughs> I like beans and taters. It fell. It fell. Pick it up before you lose it. That's how you lost that red earring, Cindy. So this this here is okay. Now there we go. And that needs to just lay up there like that. And that goes back through there. This here is uh this has things on it that just are that things that maybe friends sent me and uh okay so we have these and they're beautimus and they are signed oh they just say patent pending so you can look at these yes but you can't touch <laughs> now i'm sorry I'm so mean. I'm sorry. I'm just teasing today. This is my rock tree, too. I put all my rocks. There's some, y'all know I love rocks. I buy them every time I go to Branson. I buy a bag of rocks. So I also have a, um, oh, I forgot this was up here. I have a, uh, <laughs> where's Barbie? <laughs> I have a, um, scarab bracelet up laying up there i didn't know it was in there now this is what i wanted to show you let's see if i can get one of these off uh that was just a link necklace okay this here is a hobay pair of earrings a pair of hobay earrings 
and I bought these on eBay. And I actually, did I buy these or did she give them to me? I can't remember. I think I bought them. Oh, there's the mail lady. I can't remember if I bought them or if she gave them to me. Anyway, the, here's what the story is on these Hobays. I bought them for a very cheap price. One of the navets, the bro end is broken off. And so uh, she sold them to me for a very cheap price. These that are this, um, <clears throat> that have this amber tone to them came from Cindy Jewelry Nurse. She, um, I bought some in one of her auction and then she gave me some extra ones that were her sister's. This is a set. This here is a set that is from, I want to say from Coro. Yeah, it has a Coro hang tag on it. So you have the little blue necklace with its little stones, and then you have the matching bracelet. So anyway, this... This stuff right here, this is the stuff that I'm always telling my mom. If I die, you need to call so-and-so, and I have a name that I tell her to come and buy my stuff. <laughs> so, anyway, because that lady very much, as you can see, I have a few more Japanese beads up here, and there's another AB rhinestone up there. So, and all that sets up there for me to enjoy, and it all needs dusted. Now, here we go. Thermoset, thermoset. Okay, so this little thing is overflowing. Now, some of it is vintage and some of it is new thermoset or new stuff that's made to look like thermoset. thermoset. I just recently bought that from Barbie. I believe it's vintage uh, just because of the size of the necklace. So, and then, oops, there's this, and I know this is vintage. There's this. Oops, I got this waving in front of us. Look at that. Look at those. That's not thermoset. But it's just some plastic. Uh, there's, yep, there's a name on it. We'll say probably Coro. <laughs> yeah, I might hoard Coro things. Might. I'm not saying I do, but I might. So there you go. Look how pretty that is. It looks, it just, it looks like confetti lucite is what it is. There you go. It's really pretty. And then we have. Oh, I have bake a lot too. <laughs> Sorry. I have bake a lot too. And then we have this. That is a rhinestone necklace. Vintage. And no missing stones. And no signature. So, now, I just recently got this set right here out of, y'all remember me talking about the big box? I got a big box of stuff. This is a Trafari set, and it has a matching bracelet and necklace, but we're missing one of these little half stone half cab, whatever you want to call it, cabochon pearls on the bracelet, on the bracelet is missing a half cab right there, but the necklace is all intact, all the little rhinestones are in it, and it's really pretty, a little Trafari set, uh, vintage rhinestone earrings, this one here is interesting to me. It's another Lucite necklace. Uh, another Coro. If you can see that. Let's see. Can you see that? 
really pretty. The blues mixed. And not real sure what I it looks like they were going for a stone look. So you thought what were ladybugs? Those are real pretty. The the red ones. Uh, here is a Lusa, uh a thermoset set. Now this has a dingle dangle that I don't recognize, but I have a side I can go. It has. It almost looks like an acorn. Can you see that? This is a blue set, and I have a bracelet that matches it somewhere in this mess. Uh-huh. No. Wrong blue set. Yeah, wrong blue set. Okay. Here's the blue set that has the bracelet, and here's the matching necklace for it. And it is uh, not signed, but this one here is not vintage. I'll just tell you that right now. It's not vintage. It's made to look vintage, but it is not vintage. And I can tell that by the little hangy tag on it. It's real pretty, but it's not. It's not vintage, but it's still pretty enough to keep. So, here is another thermoset piece. This one is also not vintage. Well, not when I say not vintage, vintage, it might be from the 70s or 80s, but it's not from the 50s and 60s. Hey, uh, Becky. Hello, Becky. <laughs> Dave's saying hey to you, Becky. Uh, this is another um, it's a uh, uh, another rhinestone piece that is missing rhinestones. So I got some missing navettes here. The shape here, up here, there's some missing navettes. And if you can see, they have a a milky, it's almost like a pearlized with an AB, mixed pearlized with ABs. Uh, vintage, but not 50s and 60s vintage. So, so uh, here is, okay. This is a set that is missing some of its thermoset. This is a vintage set. Now, you're thinking, why would she keep that? Well, I'm going to show you why. Let's see. Here it is. I'm reaching in here. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Here's the earrings. Here's an earring that has I have a, the, the pair of earrings. Okay. So, I'll ask your opinion. So I have the <laughs> I have this bracelet that is missing three, and then I have the earrings that have both both of them are intact. Would you take the thermoset off the earrings and fix the bracelet, or would you just leave it like this? So far, I've just left it like this because for really and truly, it's just going to stay in my collection, and so. But uh, my thoughts are to take the earrings apart and fix the bracelet. To have a complete bracelet. But I buy so much other stuff <laughs> that comes in that uh, I've thought about just waiting to see if I could get um, get in some uh, um, just find some more pieces to it. So you would leave it like it is. So, uh, I know I've showed y'all this bracelet before. I do believe, and y'all know, I'm not, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. But I do believe it's a belly dancer bracelet. It's really old. And it jingle jangles. I mean, jingle jangles. Big time. And so, it, see, it has this pin that goes and then that slides in there. And that goes in there. You would keep it like it is too, Angela. Uh, did I show y'all this? This is a bracelet. 
Uh, while technically vintage, it's not vintage vintage. And I say that, I mean, it's probably made in the 80s, something like that. But it's not like thermostat vintage, like real thermostat vintage. And this is another little bracelet. This is a bracelet. I had to think what it was. And it's teeny tiny. And it had an extender put on it. And it's come loose. And it is signed Trafari. Let me see. Uh, there is another thermoset earring. And there's probably a match. Oh. Here is your little ladybug, Jude. Hey, Presley. Hey, Presley. Um, I sent you a second email about that necklace. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw it or not. So, this is a Coro. Now, I was amazed. I was amazed that Let's see. Can you see it? Oh, there we go. Okay, he is a little ladybug. And he has got rhinestones. And he is, he's almost a beetle. And uh, he's got little rhinestones in him. Little green and red rhinestones. And he is a coro piece. So he got hoarded. He went to live in the Horde. They like it there. It's nice and safe in the Horde. We have some uh, vintage plastic cat eye looking green beads that have the hidden clasp. We also have some vintage cat eye looking beads that have just a clasp clasp. This here is not vintage, not, and it's really not real thermoset. That color is very 50s. Those, the greens and the pearls, the greens. This is San Japan. It has just this heavy drop on it. Uh, probably, I'm thinking 80s. Maybe 70s, but it's not thermoset, real thermoset. So, but you don't have to be thermoset to come live in my. Oh, you you don't belong in there. And then here's another blue set. I do like the blue sets. I seem to gravitate towards the blue sets. That's a dust bunny. <laughs> but that one's missing some rhinestones too, and if. If you do any kind of repair, you know that it's hard to find that color blue for repairing. It just is. So, uh, here is... Okay, I showed you the matching bracelet to this. Oh, there it is. Here's the matching necklace that goes with it. So. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Here's another beautiful thermoset piece. This one right here is probably one of my favorite thermoset pieces. Uh, it's Coro, I believe. Let me make sure what that tag says. No, I'm sorry. It's Listener. But look at this. Look at that. And it's not going to show up how pretty it is. That green color is a, like an olive green it is so pretty. It's the blue may be taken away from it, but it is such a pretty color. I love that color. Really pretty. Uh here is a pair of matching earrings that go to one of the here. 
yeah, this this pair of earrings matches this bracelet. But the earrings is missing the two leaves. But I kept the one earring just in case I ever have to repair something. So y'all know y'all know me. I'll repair it. I'll fix it. This one is pretty too. This one came from Barbie. Uh not, not vintagey vintagey, but vintagey. It is vintage. It's older than 20 years old, but it's not. 50s and 60s, but it's beautiful. Which, when she said sold it, she said she didn't think it was vintage, but it's just so pretty. These beads, you, I think you've all seen these mod beads that I have. Very six, late 60s, early 70s. I'm like finding weird things in here. Aha! Uh -huh, there's the match. Uh, somewhere there's a match, and oh, there it is. A matching earring for that. There it is. Thermoset. And here is the match for this one. This set here. Thermoset. And these here are not supposed to be in here. I mean, they are vintage. But they're not something I just hold on to. They're glass glass beads. What is that one? This one here is Coro. And it's not specifically something that I'm just like in love with. But it got in there because it's Coro. Sometimes your name gets your name. Sometimes your name gets you in the box. <laughs> and for that one, the name got her in the box. Okay. Uh. And sometimes you just get in the box because the person that owned the box didn't clean it all the way out. That's some stuff that needs to go in a craft craft lot. And these came from Barbie. Thumbs up, everybody. These came from Barbie, and they are vintage. And they have this with a matching... Kind of matching. They got put together earrings. And they're cool. And that is that hoard of stuff. Okay. Let me put it up and I'll show y'all my bake a lot. I've showed you my bake a lot I think before. But I'll show it to you again. Just because we all like to see jewelry, don't we? There we go. I love that green color of, of beads. I think they're beautiful. I love it. Plus, then I love the little hidden clasp. So, I don't know who you are. I don't want to talk to you. There you go. I turned the phone off. Okay. Somebody was asking the other day about wanting to buy that box. Uh. This is an earring that somewhere is matched to it, maybe. I think it was clipped up here. Maybe not. Anyway. Okay. So. There. So I showed y'all the brooch while ago. The um the plastic brooch. Oh my gosh, I just dumped a box of Sarah Kevin Teresa. I guess that'll encourage me to get it out and get it pictured. There we go. That's these are usually from West Germany. Uh, but those are not marked. Trats. So we have this one, and they are all Bakelite. And I've showed y'all the Bakelite before, and because I showed y'all this Bakelite before, I had something in here that I didn't think was Bakelite, but I had it in here because I thought it was pretty. And um, um, she was just here. 
Peyton told me, she said, that's Bakelite. And she even named off what kind of Bakelite it was. And it was. It was Bakelite. This is what I love about Bakelite. Is what I call the Bakelite clack. It just has a special sound to it. So I love the Bakelite clack. There's those three pieces. This brown one. And it has little silver dots. The blue moon, yes. This one right here, Peyton, is the one that you showed me. Told me was Bakelite. And it is. And these little cherries. These little cherry drop earrings. They're Bakelite. They're so cute. And I was telling Jude about this stack. I think it was Jude I was telling about this stack. So I was in a, uh, and I haven't even, let's uncut them, uncut the price tag. I was in a thrift store up in North Arkansas, and I picked these up and clacked them. And as soon as I clacked them, I knew that they were Bakelite, and they had, I just cut it off. They had a tag on them, $3, brought them home, and they are Bakelite. <coughs> And I have this pair of earrings. It is a matching pair of earrings. They're not Chanel. They were, I had them cut done like the Chanel almost. And then I have this single earring that is a Bakelite earring, but it's not got a match. And then I have this pair of red Bakelite earrings. The, they look brown, but they're actually a deep, deep, rusty red. And then I have these that look like um, faux to to tortoise shell, and they are Bakelite. And I have these root beer cufflinks that are Bakelite. Now, this stuff is not Bakelite. This is just what uh, plastic jewelry that I also saved. I've showed y'all this before, the expandable bracelet it expands and then I have these and yes they seriously are earrings they're so big but they're earrings so anyway so let's see let's get some semichrome if you've never tested for Bakelite Semichrome is the best. 409 works, but Semichrome is the best. 409 changes their formula so much that sometimes it's really hard to get a true reading. So get the Semichrome. You can buy it. I bought mine on Amazon. Buy it at Walmart and buy it wherever. And uh, you rub it on the inside. We're going to rub the blue, blue moon. Now, I usually rub initially with the one end and then rub it off with the other but you can tell it turned oh well you can't tell there you can tell it turned yellow let's see if you can tell there there it did turn yellowy orange and then i take the uh, the end of that and clean it up real good but yeah really orangey I was so surprised because all of my other Bakelite is really, really thick pieces. And so when she told me that was Bakelite, I was like, but it's so thin. But all my other ones are really thick pieces. So these here that I got for the for a dollar a piece. Double check that one. Oops. Yeah, your son brewed the tea while ago. And yes, Jerry Bird tea. I said, your son. Anyway, and it rubs yellow oh. too, and it's hard to see. Oh, that Jared. That Jared, the one that is your son. Yes, that Jared. Anyway, but Bakelite, I love Bakelite. So, uh, and I listen for the clack. I love that clack. But as y'all all know, I love jewelry, period. It don't matter. 
you need to go away and leave me alone before you get slapped. Right here in front of all of my friends and God and everybody. My husband thinks he's being funny. So, but yeah, I just was, um, I've been saying that I would show y'all what was up in that thing. And then I started looking at my, my, um, uh, stuff back there, my, uh, rhinestones. And I thought it's today's the day. These little root beer things. They always puzzled me. Huh. I was sure those were Bakelite, but they're not sh showing it. Maybe I got too much stuff on me. Give me another thing. Those may not be Bakelite. I may be misinformed. They're not Bakelite. I'm I'm heartbroke. I was sure they were. Hold on. So I have a question for those of you that know more about jewelry than I do. Because there are a lot of y'all out there that does know a lot more about jewelry than I do. They are Bakelite. It turned there. Okay. Don't be messing with me. Yeah, it turned yellow. <laughs> I'm freaking out over here. I was sure they were Bakelite. They were. Anyway, they're so little, they don't clack. Okay, so can things be so highly lacquered over Bakelite that you can't test it? Does anybody know? Can it be so highly lacquered over Bakelite that you can't get a testing on it? Because I have a brooch that when I bought it originally, I thought it was Bakelite. And then when it got tested, it didn't test as Bakelite. But then it came back to me. And I still think it's Bakelite, but it's still not testing as a Bakelite. So, Peyton, can it be so highly lacquered? Oh, my gosh. Look, I just polished these little cherries. Angela, Irene, can it be, can it, do you know, Angela? Okay, guys, so I just polished the little cherries. That's what the back of that one looks like. It's bright, deep orange, deep yellow. So, yeah, those are nice. I love those little cherries. Those flowers and vases stacked up there behind you are giving me fits. You're worried they're, they're going to come down? Nope, they're wedged up in there. They're wedged up in there. Those are my, I don't know if y'all do this or not. Those are my funeral flowers. Actually, those are my cemetery flowers to decorate the cemetery, to decorate my dad's grave and my son's grave and my in-law's grave. And at the end of the season last year, when the flowers all went on clearance, I bought up the whole tray of them. So, but yeah, they're wedged up in there. They can't fall. So, <laughs> unlike that box of uh, Sarah Coventry that just went everywhere, that can fall. So, anyhow, some can be highlight painted to the piece that is encased in something, and we could only test the piece from a small crack. So, I'm going to say yes. Okay, that's cool. That's just like that while ago, that one little piece that. I think it's celluloid. I, I still believe it's celluloid. So this piece here, these here need to come. So do y'all know what season this is? I need to tell you what season this is, okay? Just in case you don't know, this is jelly bean season. Jelly bean season. This is the first bag of jelly beans I've had in over two years. And I'm being real good. I've had them for two days now. And I haven't gobbled them up. I'm making them last. So, But it is jelly bean season. So make sure you're out there getting you some jelly beans. Well, don't go out there. Send somebody after you some jelly beans. Okay? Don't go out there because that, that's not safe. So that's 4 p.m. I'm just encased in something. You can only get it through a small crack. Okay, there goes some more stuff in a craft bag. So, anybody want to play Name That Stone <laughs> with me? 
Oh, that, hey, that's a nice little bracelet. I didn't realize that was a not, so, such a nice little bracelet stuck in there. So we're, we, um, they have determined that this is a stone. Where's Mama? Is Mama still here, Moonstone, Moonstone Mama? Are you still here, Mama? Jelly beans. I love jelly beans. I don't like the black ones, though. They make my mouth go numb, and they're disgusting. My mother loves the black ones. So, but I throw them away. Anyway, so we've determined that this is a stone, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but, uh, it's heavy. It is a stone. Come on. Focus, focus. Not on me. Here. There we go. There. Can you see that? It's got some stripes in it. Kind of browny, orange, orangey. I'm thinking some kind of an agate, but I don't know. But I bought it to take apart anyway. You love the black ones. You hate the white and green ones. They look a lot like glass. I don't know. They're awful heavy to be glass. But they may be. Anyway, they may be. So, look here. Where is... Uh... So, I got these in the other day. And I wanted to weigh those. We talked about how heavy they were. I bought these from... I bought these from a friend, and she might or might not be in here, and they are heavy. They're fluorite. Have mercy. They weigh nearly 10 ounces just by themselves. So you got this big, long strand of fluorite beads that shall be dis disassembled for me to craft with. Y'all know I like to craft with stones. And then I got these amethyst out of a box from, hmm, I can't remember. I guess it was that big box that I bought off of eBay. I got them. They shall be disassembled. Yeah, the pictures of them, I took some pictures and up close they do look like stones. So... And then this. Now, this came out of the big box, too. I'm pretty sure. Or it came from Patsy Crafty. Those may have came from Patsy Crafty. I can't remember. So, we have what looks like to be little carnelian chips. We have some really... I guess this is fluoride. Is that fluoride? That really light with the pinky purple tinge? Is that fluoride? We have some smoky quartz. But here's what I realized. See these little beads in here? Those little suckers are pearls. They're what, I don't know if I call it right, but a potato pearl. They have the little grooves in them. They are. These big white things are just glass beads. I don't know what those are. But you got, so you got pearls in that part. This this uh is very asymmetrical. This would mess with my head too bad. So you've got these. These are all connected, are all loose. These are tight. These are all loose. This side here is not all loose like that side is. This is going to have to definitely come apart. What do you think these little orange things are? You think they're, what do you think they are? Glass, maybe. Maybe gla just glass. So, anyway, heavy duty, heavy duty. And I have this, and I know y'all going to laugh at me, had this thrown into the craft pile, and I got to looking, and I'm pretty sure that these are little turquoise nuggets. They're blue all the way down through them. They have good matrix. I don't, this one here, I'm really tempted, though, to bust it with a hammer and see what happens to it. Because, but, it too, hold on. This one too, 
is blue all the way through it. So, Carnelian, 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 they agree. Thank you. We've done that before. <laughs> Busted them with a hammer. I just think there would be some some major uh, satisfaction in doing that. So, but then I've got a broken turquoise if it's really turquoise. And it's on a string. Why do you waste turquoise on a string? Why? Okay, guys, we've been here. Oh, my gosh, we've been here an hour and ten minutes already. So, I saw my mail run. Maybe I got a package. I'm expecting a few packages. I think I've got three I'm expecting. Well, actually, I've got five I'm expecting. But I just bought two of them yesterday. But I'm expecting some other ones that I have a package coming from Devin. I have a package coming from Jamie. And I have a package coming from Thelma that I'm expecting. So, anyway, so... Thanks for visiting with me and spending some time looking at my stuff. Well, I have the, and then yesterday I bought one on eBay and one on Etsy. Those were lots. These are just small packages where I bought single, I bought a single from Devin. I bought a single uh, necklace that has uh, soda light from Jamie. I bought, oh, I bought a sterling silver, uh, necklace that has a Celtic symbol and from Thelma I bought one of her little bitty mystery bags so anyway and here it is two o'clock and I've not had lunch and my belly's growling and so it's time for me to go thanks for coming and playing in my play yard so anyway y'all have a wonderful day and I don't know who's on tonight I'm not sure if I knew I would share but I don't know who's on tonight so Thank you. Angela, are you on tomorrow night? If you're on tomorrow night, say yes and tell us what time. Angela Irene does. She does auctions and stuff like that. So let's see what Angela says and then we'll go. Oh, Angela Irene, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Angela Irene, have you seen these in my videos? Have you seen these? They are the iridescent pearls that I won from uh, Anita Fanita's giveaway. Iridescent. Three, four inches of iridescent pearls. So. Next time on Cindy. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> they are gorgeous. For pearls, I'm not a pearl fan, but they're really pretty for, for pearls. So, anyway, they're for sale. I'm taking private bids on them. If you look them up, the cheapest, I think most of us have found them for that length and by that name brand because they are a name brand that is connected to Tiffany. The cheapest we found them online was 600 So, I'm taking reasonable offers on them. Reasonable offers. So. Anyway, y'all have a good one. We shall talk to you later. Later, later, taters. Bye-bye.